Well, if you're over 65 and it's been more than six months, then you should be thinking about a booster dose. That's the message from Dr. Paul Cieslak, the Oregon Health Authority's medical director for communicable diseases. In addition to those 65 and older who had the Pfizer vaccine, those who are younger but have underlying medical conditions are also eligible for a booster now. Persons with underlying heart disease, kidney disease, lung disease, uh, persons with immune system compromise. People working in high-risk settings and anyone in a long-term care facility can also get a booster. With your vaccine card, you're going to head right over this okay. way and they'll get you no your problem. vaccine, okay? Oh my God, that's yeah. quick and easy. 180 seniors living at the Mirabella Tower in South Portland are among those eligible. The Senior Living Center set up a clinic Wednesday with the help of OHSU to get them their boosters. 100% of the residents here are fully vaccinated. It was very important to me to, and I was happy that uh, Mirabella did such a nice job of taking care of all of us and getting us organized so that all we had to do was come upstairs and put our arm out. <laughs> all right, 33, you're up. The boosters are being recommended now because studies have shown immunity from the vaccine has dropped off. According to the CDC, the Pfizer vaccine is still 65% effective at preventing infection, but it started out at 96%. The Oregon Health Authority says we're also seeing the proof in Oregon with a higher percentage of cases being breakthrough cases. For the rest of you who have been vaccinated, uh, you know, the immunity does wane. Um, there's still significant protection against severe disease, the disease that causes hospitalization. Uh, but nevertheless, we do see uh, people getting hospitalized uh, several many months after having received a complete primary series. Dr. Cieslak said he couldn't predict if or when the Pfizer boosters would be available to more people. He says more research needs to be done. We also asked about the side effects of the booster and found out they're similar to those people experienced after their second dose of the vaccine.